Shimon, you're on mute. Welcome back to Top Gun, powered by Staya, Kapapi and My Turn. Today, you're going to witness the bronze medal match between Olympic champion Jeanette Rasher of USA and Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski in a best of three match of race to 10. As per the match format, the shooter with the higher shot wins a point and the shooter who reaches 10 points first wins the match. So stay tuned and enjoy this thrilling face-off between these two American shooting stars. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. Your five minutes preparation and sighting time starts now. And the five minutes preparation and sighting time begins for the two American shooting stars. This is the bronze medal match between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA versus another American, Lucas Kozinski, the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter, World Cup champion and world number three. Ginny Thrasher of USA, the reigning Olympic champion with a personal best score of 631.4. Her world ranking is 56. Ginny's competed at the Rio Olympics where she won the gold, won world championship, 10 world cups. Ginny hails from New York, is coached by Dan Durbin. Versus... Lucas Kozinski, the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter with a personal best of 634.7 which is 1.2 more than the current world record in men's 10 meter air rifle. His world ranking is 3. Lucas has also competed at 1 Olympics, 1 world championship and at 6 world cups. He is also coached by Dan Durbin. It's going to be a tough job for Dan Durbin standing behind his two of the most promising, the best shooting stars of America. And we also take this opportunity to introduce our jury for the day, Margaret Melmer. She's going to oversee the match, the bronze medal match between the two great American shooting stars. Welcome, Margaret. Welcome, Shimon. Welcome to America. Welcome to everyone at home. They are watching us. And we are also joined by Murat Taskiner of Maiten. Welcome, Murat. Yeah, thank you, Shimon. Um, looking forward to this match. It's uh, the first medal match between Lucas and Ginny. Looks, looks promising. Let's have a nice and exciting match. Looking forward to it. And there you can see both the shooters in their five minutes preparation and sighted time. Ginny, Lucas, both start with brilliant 10.8, 10.7. Of course, this is not added to the match. This is just the final preparation before the actual bronze medal match begins between these two shooting stars. Both shooters look in fantastic form today.
Olympic champion of 2016 Rio Olympic Games, Ginny Thrasher versus Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski. Will it be Ginny taking the bronze or will it be Lucas Kozinski? Three minutes into the sighted time, after which the real match will begin. Here's a question being put out for the viewers. You did not get it right yesterday. Let's see if you can get it right today. How many 10.9s will be shot today? Both shooters capable of registering multiple 10.9s. Let's see who gets it right today. As we were talking about 10.9, there you can see Lucas registering a 10.9 on his seventh sighter shot. Not a part of the match, but a clear indication of what's in store today in this bronze medal match between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher versus Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski. Once again about the format, this is a race to 10 format. A shooter who shoots higher wins a point and the shooter who reaches 10 points first is the match winner. The bronze medal match between two of the greatest American shooters. We are nearing the end of the five minutes preparation in sight of time. End of preparation and sighting time. Stop. Reset your targets. That's it. The end of five minutes preparation and sighters. Before the match begins, we will take a very short commercial break. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon.
Maiton Esther 5, intelligent software for shooters. Esther 5 makes it easy and comfortable. With a PC, notebook, tablet or smartphone, the results are displayed directly in the browser. You can choose the display device and therefore also the display size and the type of operation of your Blackmagic measuring frame yourself. The comfortable operation is possible via touchscreen or Bluetooth control panel. Simply determine the light brightness, light color and the target image from the firing point. The shooting on the other stands is no longer disturbed. For the dynamic display in the browser we use the latest web technologies. All important information such as the competition time or series results are displayed clearly on the screen. Sports shooters can also display the hit center, the hit circle or detailed hit statistics. New Innovative presentation of results now on mobile devices. Cost effective, flexible, simple. Esther 5 can be fully integrated to existing Myton Shootmaster systems. Myton, your partner for the shooting sport. Welcome back to the bronze medal match between Olympic champion Jinit Russia versus Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lukas Kozinski, both from USA. Let's start the match now. For the first competition shot, load, start. That's the command for the first competition shot. Let's see who takes the first point. Will it be the Olympic champion, Ginny, or Tokyo Olympic bound? And world number three shooter, Lukas Kozinski. Ginny starts with a 10.5. A great start to the bronze medal match. Lukas falls short by only 0.1. Shoots a 10.4. Ginny takes the first point. Ginny, Thrasher, 1. Lucas Kozenski yet to open his account. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A good start to the bronze medal match. Ginny registering a 10.5 on a first attempt. Lucas 10.4. Can Lucas level it in the next shot? Two of the best American shooters. Ginny a 10.3 this time. Lucas very shaky, 9.6 point once again in favor of the Olympic champ, Ginny Thrasher in the lead with two points. Ginny now at two, Lucas zero. For the next competition shot, load. Start. For the first time, two shooters competing in a Top Gun match, standing beside each other. It's a tough day for coach Dan Durbin. He coaches both these great athletes. Ginny Thrasher, shaky, 9.8. Lucas, 10.6. Lucas opens his account. 
total score Ginny 2, Lucas 1. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both shooters shooting a below 10. In their first three shots, Lucas returns the 9.6 with a 10.6 on the third attempt, taking the point. Ginny once again shoots a 9.8. A golden chance for Lucas. Lucas bang on target with a 10.9. This is the first 10.9 of the bronze medal match today. Lucas Kozenski shoots a perfect 10.9. What a way to claim the point. Registering a 10.9 on the fourth attempt by the world number three in Tokyo Olympic bound shooter. Lucas Kozenski bang on target. Very quickly, Margit. About the current standing after the four shots? Um, it starts great. It really starts great. Both of them are very, very good. Uh, they're shaky too. Yes, we know. But it's the beginning. You know, the concentration will become up and up. It's, it's great. It's great for all of us. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Just fantastic last shot by Lukas Kozinski, registering a perfect 10.9 on his fourth attempt. Ginny shaky once again, a 10.0. Very easy for Lucas to claim another point here. And yes, he does it with a 10.2. Lucas for the very first time in the lead. Lucas 3, Ginny 2. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Can Ginny claim the next point and level the score? Or will it be Lukas Kozenski extending his lead by another point? Ginny very shaky in the last three attempts. Brilliant 10.7 by Ginny Thrasher. Putting behind those bad three shots. Lukas Kozenski shoots higher with a 10.8 point once again in favor of Lukas. Lukas Kozenski for Ginny Thrasher 2. Murat, very quickly about the current situation. Excellent shooting by both these champions. Yeah, uh, both trying to find their rhythm. Uh, I think they found it now and it's going to be an exciting match. I'm, and we're seeing that right now. For the next competition shot, load. Start. That was a very high scoring last round. Ginny Thrasher shot a 10.7. Lucas returned it with a 10.8. Shooters are a little shaky when a match starts. There is a still lot left in the first match. Ginny shoots a 
wins the point. Lucas very shaky with a 9.7 point in favor of Ginny. Lucas still in the lead. Lucas 4, Ginny 3. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Two of the best from America. Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher versus Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski. That's a 10.0. Very easy shot to beat. Lucas once again bang on target. The second 10.9 by the world number three. Lucas Kozinski shooting. Another 10.9 to claim the point. Score Lucas 5, Ginny 3. That was the second 10.9 shot by the World Cup champion Lukas Kuzenski. had won a gold at the recent ISSF World Cup in New Delhi, registering two 10.9s in his first eight shots. Fantastic performance by the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lukas Kuzenski. For the next competition shot, load. Start. And Ginny claim the next point. Ginny with a very strong 10, a near perfect 10.8, not an easy shot to beat. Lucas Shaky shoots a 10.0 point in favor of the Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher. Total score, Lucas still in the lead with one point, Lucas five, Ginny four. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Two of the best shooters of America live in action in front of you. Ginny Thrasher, the gold medalist at the Rio 2016 Olympics versus Tokyo Olympic <coughs> shooter. Lucas Kozinski, Ginny Thrasher once again 10.8 wins the point. Lucas Kozinski 10.6. Fantastic comeback by Ginny Thrasher with two consecutive 10.8s. Both shooters at five. Margaret, very quickly. These two shooters are really, they are class of their own, really. Totally, totally great. Nice to start, great to watch them, really great to watch them. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both shooters in very good form. He 
and he was a little shaky in the initial part of the first match but now is back or two consecutive 10.8s now a 10.6 ball shot by 0.1 lucas kozenski registers a 10.7 to take this point lucas once again in the lead lucas 6 chini 5 the next competition shot load start two of the best shooters from america in action both in great form in this bronze medal match of top gun jenny thrasher 10.4 can lucas beat this a 10.4 for a 10.4 point not awarded to anyone score still remains the same lucas 6 jenny 5 what a neck and neck competition this is turning out to be murat Yeah, just as, as expected. Very close match. Very close match. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Who do you think will win the first match? Will it be the current Olympic champion, Chini Thrasher, or the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozenski? Both shooters registered an identical 10.4 in their 12th attempt. Point not awarded. Chini Thrasher shoots a 10.0. Lucas returns it with a 10.7 point in favor of Lucas. Lucas once again in the lead. Lucas seven, Ginny five. For the next competition shot, load. Start. two of the best shooters of the world live in action shooting in the kapi rifle clothing the best rifle clothing in the world chini shoots a 10.2 an easy shot to beat for lucas lucas takes the point with a 10.6 total score lucas 8 chini 5 there you can see chini trying to get a good rhythm is doing some holding between the two shots for the next competition shot load start lucas is at 8 needs two more points to win the first match very important for jenny to claim some points here Chini the first one to shoot the shot shoots a 10.7 not an easy shot to beat Lucas Kozenski with a 10.5 point in favor of Chini Thrasher Lucas 8 Chini 6 
for the next competition shot. Load. Start. Can Ginny claim another point and narrow the gap? A 10.2 for Ginny Thrasher. Lucas Kozinski once again bang on target shoots a 10.9. This is the third 10.9. By the Tokyo Olympic bound, world number three and world cup champion, Lucas Kwasinski of USA. What a performance by Lucas. Already registered three perfect 10.9s in the first bronze medal match. Fantastic shooting. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lucas Kozinski just a point away from claiming the first match of this bronze medal battle between the two American shooters, Ginny Thrasher and Lucas Kozinski. Ginny shoots a very strong, near perfect 10.8. Can Lucas shoot another 10.9 to beat this? 10.4 by Lucas. Point in favor of Ginny Thrasher. This is becoming an interesting, very interesting first match. Total score Lucas still in the lead. Lucas 9. Ginny 7. Ginny just 2 points away from Lucas. Margaret, very quickly, about the current situation. Uh, we can see how strong they are. In the first round, at the moment, we have 17 shots and 3 of them are 10.9. We never have this in our Top Gun events. That's some fantastic shooting by Lucas Kozinski. Already registered 3 perfect 10.9s. As a quick chat with his teammate Ginny Thrasher, both of them trained together with their coach Dan Durbin, who is standing right behind them. Can Lucas finish this match in the next shot? <laughs> Lucas just a point away from claiming the first match. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both shooters taking aim for their 18th shot. Can Chini a 10.2? Lucas Kozinski wins the first match with a 10.4 on his 18th shot. Point in favor of Lucas. First match in favor of Lucas. Lucas 10, Chini 7. Margaret, very quickly, match in favor of Lucas. Yes, it's it's a it's a really a close race, race really 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 close. These two guys, but I'm sure that uh, Chini can can turn it back. I'm sure that the next round can be on her side. Murat, what do you have to say? First match in favor of Lucas. 
Yeah, strong, strong match from Lucas. Uh, Gini wasn't making e- making it easy for him, but uh, still he prevailed and, uh, well, he showed his class as well. Still, Gini is not underestimated. She will come back most likely in the second leg and we will see, uh, hopefully, a similar thrilling match. And Shazad, what do you have to say about the first patch? Yes, uh, it's uh, pretty commendable and I'm very excited. Uh, you know, it's quite a thrilling match from the, uh, you know, uh, a spectator's point of view. Um, I'm sure uh, coach uh, Dan will be uh, quite uh, happy and uh, must be a, a pleasure sight for, to see his uh, prodigies in action. Um, it's certainly keeping the viewers on edge. I don't know about the shooters, but we the viewers are certainly on edge. Sometimes Ginny's uh, taking the point, sometimes Lucas is up there and it's uh, quite a face-off. It's actually quite a there, face-off. And there you can see Coach Dan Durbin making use of this break, giving some valuable tips to both his shooters. And while Coach Dan gives tips to Ginny and Lucas, we will take a short commercial break. Please don't go away. We'll be back soon with the next round of this bronze medal match of Top Gun. New from Iton, Lana, the lane allocation software for shooting ranges. Myton makes it possible to allocate electronic shooting lanes without additional staff at the main computer. With immediate effect, shooters can now choose their own lane even using their own smartphone. Lana is accessed via a web browser and the shooter is then searched in the Myton database. The shooter selects the desired shooting program and shooting lane. This can be done either by directly entering the name, the sports ID registration number or by using the barcode of the starter card or the sports ID card. This means an enormous workload relief of the shooting lane staff during lane allocation. All data are queried by Lana live from the Myton server, so the shooter always receives live information about free lanes and his personal club account. Lana is the complete solution in combination with the program price shooting and results. Simple operating concept, intelligent starter selection, always up-to-date information. Myton. Precise, flexible, unique.
Welcome back. This is the second match of the bronze medal battle between the reigning Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher versus the World Cup champion Lucas Kozensky. Lucas won the first match 10 7. Can Ginny win this? And do we go into the decider or will it be Lucas Kozensky who will claim the second match and win the bronze medal? Can we wait on just one minute to start? We've got a target downrange. We've got to change real quick. Sure. Okay, maybe maybe we can use this minute uh, because there was a question. Uh, what she was adjusting on her rifle. Yes, this was the question. Maybe. We need to get to record like that. We need that on record, not ciders. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Uh, Jenny Thrasher versus Lucas okay. okay. Yep. In the bronze medal match. Yeah. Just getting ready We're for good. their second match. Let them know. Coach Dan, are the shooters ready? Margaret, the target, what do you have to say the, about this, the yeah. second match? How do you see the second match? Huh. First match, I of, hope, first match I in hope favor that, of Lucas? I hope that Chini will fight back. I really hope that because we know she's strong enough and uh, she had uh, three, uh, three games this week before and we know she can do this. Let's see if Ginny can claim the second match. In that case, we will have to go into the decider. If Lucas wins the second match, he will be the bronze medal winner of Top Gun. Margaret, can you confirm me if the shooters are ready? Yes, the targets are clean. The targets are right. We can start. <laughs> For the first competition shot, load, start. That's the start to the second match of the bronze medal fight between the reigning Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher versus the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozensky. Ginny registers a 10.4. Lucas replies her with a 10.6. Lucas takes the first point. In the second match, Lucas 1. Ginny 0. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Once again, a great start to the second match. Ginny shooting a 10.4. Lucas a 10.6. Ginny a 10.7. Lucas a 10.7. Point in favor of Lucas. Lucas 2, Ginny 0. And Ginny shot a 10.2. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, Margaret. 10.2. 10.2. Lucas a 10.7. Point in favor of Lucas. Lucas 2, Ginny 0. <laughs> For the next competition shot, load.
start. Ginny needs to register high tens if she has to win a point over this Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozenski, who's in great form. Started with a 10.6, now a 10.7. Ginny, bang on target, 10.9 for the Olympic champion. Ginny Thrasher registering her first 10.9 in the bronze medal match. Lucas Kozenski, 10.4 point in favor of Ginny. Fantastic shot by the Olympic champ, opening her account in great style. Lucas 2, Ginny 1. That's for the correct. next competition shot. Load. Start. Margaret, what do you say about that perfect 10.9 by Jeannie? That's a great comeback. This is probably the fourth 10.9, Murat. Yeah, it was a great, great response. Let's see what, what if she can hold it up. A 10.2 by Ginny this time. Lucas taking the point with a 10.5. Lucas Kozenski, one of the best shooters in the world. The total score, Lucas 3, Ginny 1. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Ginny has to win this if she wants to be in the race to win the bronze of Top Gun. Shoots a 10.1, this time a 10.9 by Lukas Kozenski, his fourth 10.9. Fantastic performance by Lukas in the bronze medal match. Just brilliant. Point in favor of Lukas. What a performance by this Tokyo Olympic bound athlete. The world number three in 10 meter men's air rifle. Lucas extends his lead with three points. Lucas now at four, Ginny one. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lucas Kozenski of USA. He'd won a gold at the recently held ISSF World Cup in New Delhi. His personal best is 1.2 more than the current world record which he had shot at the US Nationals. Chini shoots a 10.1. Lucas yet to take his shot. Lucas once again bang on target with a near perfect 10.8. Lucas Kozenski on fire with some brilliant performance. Lucas 5, Ginny 1. These are not easy shots to beat. 10.9 and 10.8. There's a very different style for both these shooters. Ginny, most of the time, is the first one to shoot. Lucas takes a longer time to release the shot. Both shooters have their own style of shooting. For the next competition shot, load.
Start. Can Ginny claim the next point? Needs to shoot high 10. 10.4 by Ginny. Lucas Kozinski still taking his time to register. 10.6 by Lucas. Point once again in favor of Lucas. Total score. Lucas with a clear lead of 5 points now. Lucas 6. Ginny 1. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lucas seemed to be in very good form today in this bronze medal match. Already registered four perfect 10.9s. Ginny Thrasher, a near perfect 10.8, not an easy shot to beat. Lucas Kozenski, 10.7. What a high scoring round by these two American shooters. Point in favor of Ginny Thrasher this time. Lucas, 6. Ginny, 2. Lucas still with a very comfortable lead of 4 points. Brilliant round by the two of the greatest shooters, Ginny Thrasher. Lucas Kozenski. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both shooters taking aim for their ninth shot of the second match. Usually it's Ginny who takes the first shot. This time a 10.0 by Ginny. An easy shot for Lucas to beat. Lucas once again a near perfect 10.8. Lucas is on fire. Fantastic performance by Lucas. Point once again in favor of Lucas. Total score Lucas 7, Ginny 2. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Very important for Ginny Thrasher to claim some points and narrow the lead. Lucas is racing towards 10, just three points away from claiming the bronze. Ten point four by Ginny. Can Lucas beat this? Lucas taking his time. Can go beyond ten point four. A ten point three by Lucas. Ginny wins the point. Total score, Lucas 7, Ginny 3. And Chimon, look to the total score on Lucas' screen, 106.3. Really, really great shooting that we can see. Really great Fantastic. shooting. Yes, Margaret, absolutely brilliant. World class, 106.3 in terms of the 10-shot series, which shooters shoot and test their skills in a set of 10 shots, 106.3 is totally world class. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter when it comes to the Top Gun format, which is race to 10, every shot counts. Let's see who claims the next point.
for the next competition shot. Load. Start. Chini is the fastest shooter among the two. Shoots a 10.3. Lucas also a 10.3. Almost in the same direction. Lucas 10.3. Gini 10.3 a little higher. Point not awarded to any of those shooters. Margit, see, both the shooters shoot a 10.3, little up. Yes. In Australia, we would say it's a little bit windy on the range because nearly both of them are high. <laughs> Point not awarded. For the next competition shot, load. Start. If you see these two shooters, looks so still, looks like a like a framed photograph of these two shooters. Ginny Thrasher, 10.3 once again. Can Lucas shoot above 10.3 and claim this point? A 10.7 for Lucas claims the point. Total score. Lucas 8, Chini 3. Remember, Lucas just needs two more points to claim the bronze. Murat, about the current situation. Lucas with a with a very comfortable margin. Definitely comfortable, uh, but uh, the match is not over yet. Uh, until it's over, we have to wait. Ginny can come back, and I'm sure she has the capability of doing that. For the next competition shot, Load. Start. Lucas, two points away from claiming the bronze. Can Ginny claim a few points here and put Pressure on Lucas. Ginny, fantastic. 10.7 by her. And Lucas shoots a shaky 10.1. Point in favor of Ginny. Total score now reads Lucas Kozenski 8, Ginny Thrasher 4. That was a strong shot by Ginny, 10.7. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Let's see who claims the next point. Very important to Ginny to claim a few points from here. Lucas 10.3, a good chance for Ginny. 10.7 once again. Two back to back 10.7s for the Olympic champion, claiming another point here. Narrowing the lead. Lucas 8, Ginny 5. As Murad just said, it's not over.
Yes, we're that's, up. that's absolutely correct. It's not over until it's over. It sounds stupid, but it is true. And especially this format, we're at race to 10, in which, uh, you know, if somebody might be at 9-0, you know, a shooter could win the next 10 points straight and win that match. It's a absolutely. fantastic format. Absolutely. Everything's possible. And that's why it's exciting. Let's see the next shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The second match of this bronze medal battle between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher and Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski turning out to be a thrilling one. Lucas still in the lead. Ginny shoots a 10.3. Lucas also a 10.3. Point not awarded. Score still remains the same. Lucas 8. Ginny 5. Looks like Lucas lost out on the form. Shot a 10.1, followed it with a 10.3 and a 10.3. Not very high tense for the world number three, Lucas Kozinski. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Can Ginny make full use of the situation? Lucas seems to have lost the form as per his last three shots go. A 10.1, 10.3 and a 10.3. But knowing Lucas, he can bounce back anytime with a strong 10. A 10.2 for Ginny. And a 10.2 for Lucas. Once again, both shooters registering an identical score. Point not awarded. Scores. Lucas 8, Ginny 5. Margit, very quickly about this. Very interesting. He said he wanted to drag us out. Let me move the third round. In this situation, we can see how strong they are fighting at the moment. I think I think Lucas he he don't uh, go down or his concentration go down, but it's not so easy to know. It must be a perfect great shot. I think he's a little bit under pressure now, really, because to know I need he need only two more shots to win this game to get the bronze medal. It's not so easy. It's not so easy to make the shot in the time, and you must say now. It must be now. I think it's really really tough for him now. And we see both of you. Let's see who claims the point in the next shot. USA shooting, cheering for both their champion athletes. On one hand, we have the Olympic gold medalist from Rio Olympics, Ginny Thrasher. And on the other hand, we have the shooter who will be representing USA shooting at the Tokyo Olympics. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Point not awarded in the last two shots. Let's see if any of these shooters can make. Oh, that's a strong 10 by Ginny Thrasher. Not an easy shot to beat. 10.5 by Lucas. Point goes in favor of Ginny Thrasher. Ginny Thrasher slowly coming back. Ginny 6, Lucas 8. Strong performance by the Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher. Just two points away from Lucas.
for the next competition shot. Load. Start. We've seen some really high tens by both these champion shooters of USA. Lucas already registering four 10.9s and one 10.9 for Ginny. 10.4 for Ginny this time. Lucas claims the point with a 10.6. Lucas now just a point away from winning the bronze. Lucas nine, Ginny six. Very important for Ginny to claim a few points. Very tense situation. If Lucas claims the next point, he will win the bronze. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Lucas just a point away from claiming the bronze. Both shooters taking aim for the 19th shot in the second game. This time Lucas takes the first shot. 10.5. Jenny Thrasher falls short. A 10.3. Very unusual round. Lucas taking the first shot. It's usually Ginny who shoots first. Ginny lost the point. Lucas wins the match and the bronze medal. Fantastic performance by Lucas Kozenski, the Olympic bound shooter, claiming the bronze. Thank you. And there, while the celebration was on for Lucas winning the bronze, we saw Coach Durbin hugging both his shooters. Fantastic performance by Lucas and Ginny both. That was a great match, a bronze medal match between these two champion athletes. Margaret, what do you have to say about the match? about the match it, it was it was really great and i i had to say thanks to both of the shooters that you can watch such a great game because this was really we see two of the world best shooters we can watch them directly face to face we can see how they are moving, what they are doing. We saw little problems from Jeannie. She was uh, changing her palm rest. And, and that it not, they are top shooters, but it's not, it's not easy for them to make such a competition. And that was really great to see. In a row. <laughs> Brad, what do you have to say about the performance? Lucas taking the bronze. Yeah. Well, Lucas is a strong yeah. shooter and uh, Jeannie uh, too, but uh, Lucas had the better form today. You see it in the actual shooting results. Uh, Jeannie was mostly shooting below 10.5, whereas uh, Lucas was almost like consist consistently above 10.5. That was the difference, I guess. Good job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Very quickly, what do you have to say? This about this, right. this excellent performance by both the shooters? I, like I said, it was a very thrilling match and congratulations to both of the, them, uh, Lucas and Ginny. Uh, there were a lot of uh, cheers from you, uh, from a lot of spectators. Fantastic and many congratulations to coach Dan Durbin too. Okay. And stay tuned, we'll just come back after the short commercial break and speak to the champion shooters.
Python Black Magic electronic scoring target for the discipline's 10 meter air pistol combination or 10 meter air pistol standard. For many years, Myton systems have been used abroad at championships with multi-shot air pistols. Now, with the improved version of the RFP5 lighting attachment, which features more powerful LEDs behind a sturdy, translucent protection plate. This is the perfect solution to train dynamic disciplines on a shorter distance. The red and green light control works with high precision and no noticeable reaction time. No warm-up, no afterglow, fully electronically controlled and with an extremely long service life. Myton. Precise, flexible, unique. And we are back with the two champions. We will first take reactions from Ginny Thrasher. Ginny, very good fight today. Lucas Kozenski, obviously in a better form. What do you have to say about the match, Ginny? You know, I really enjoyed myself. It was kind of fun to shoot next to each other in this virtual competition. Uh, obviously, I'm so proud of Lucas as a teammate to be able to go up there and Put up some really good scores in an intense final situation. Uh, really excited to be cheering him on later this summer in Tokyo. Uh, yeah, for me personally, it was a, a little rusty. Uh, I think I was kind of frustrated because my hold was really, really good. But I think just shooting two intense days in the in a row, I was a little tired. So truly, no excuses. But uh, proud of Lucas for putting up a really good performance. Yes, Ginny, and I saw that there is a. There was a battle going on between you and Lucas, even on Instagram. So, so you guys really were at it in the last couple of days. We, uh, we were hyping each other up a little bit. And uh, I will give you guys the exclusive details that Lucas will be my special guest next week on my Instagram Live. And he's going to tell us all the secrets of how he beat me today. Fantastic. We will stay tuned. and. Uh... And, and definitely a lot of viewers would like to hear that that live session with Olympic champion Jeannie Thrasher and the Tokyo Olympic bound athlete Lucas Kozinski. Margaret, if you have any questions, Margaret and, and Murat for Ginny. Yeah. Uh, at first, congratulations. Thank you and thank you for this for this nice competition. We I enjoyed really from the beginning on. I enjoyed. Uh, what I would like to ask you was always the first with the shots, uh, not not the last shot, but during all other thirty six shots, you was always the first. Is this a a special way for you to give him uh, to give him power or to show him how <laughs> I'm first? Is this system? Uh, no, that's just how I shoot. I'm a very fast final shooter. I'm not really into like just holding and sitting there and watching the 10 ring. You know, if it's there, take the shot. So uh, I would say Lucas and I train together a lot and we do a lot of mixed team, which is kind of very similar to this format with the final. And I always shoot before him. Okay, thanks. Thanks. And can you answer us what you what have you done with your with your uh, Palm rest because uh, the, uh, the spectators, the friends, see this and they asking on Facebook, what is she doing? What is she changing? <laughs> what have you done? Yeah, I was just having like a lot of up down elevation in my group, and I figured my NPA, my zero point, was a little low, so I just, you know, lowered the palm block so my gun would sit a little higher. 
Ah, okay. Thank you. Thanks for this for this secret. Oh yes, <laughs> insider information. Thanks. <laughs> Murat, please. Yeah, yeah. I just, I mean, as I said before, I noticed that you, uh, Jeannie, were uh, shooting quite often below 10.5. I think you were in your rhythm, but you were somehow not getting your shots on, on a higher level. Uh, it was a little, little bit difficult, I guess. And you were trying to find that, uh, but yeah. it was, I think, your difficulty today. And that's probably what cost you the match today, really, at the end of the day. If you would have gone on a little higher level, I think you would have uh, had a good chance of winning this match too. I think that could be said for any match. If you shoot yeah, better, you have a better of course, chance of course, of any course. match. <laughs> yeah, of course. What I meant is this consistency that you had on that level, if you would have lifted up a little bit more, that would have made the, made the difference, I guess. But uh, Lucas was very strong today. He, had, he was also consistent, but slightly higher consistent than you. Yes, but he both was consistent of you were very, and very strong. good groups. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm proud to see it as a teammate. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, and you have to buy uh, ice cream, I guess. Uh, I was reading some. some uh, yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I lost the bet, so yes, I will be buying ice cream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, well done. Congratulations, anyway, Thank Lucas. You. Well done. As, um, I've got nothing else to say. That was a great, great performance as well. Appreciate it. Yeah. Jazad, if you want to say anything to Ginny. Your microphone is off. So sorry, this is the kind of pressure I was in. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fantastic watching you, and we were literally on the edge. Uh, fantastic performance, and uh, like you said, that uh, you will be live on Instagram, and we will follow you and see, get the insights. Let's see if you can get the insights out, and uh, of course, enjoy the ice cream and beet juice. <laughs> <laughs> they uh they were saying online this was the battle of TikTok versus beet juice. So I guess beet juice won. <laughs> and Margaret, just to add to uh Ginny's answer about the rifle setting, uh Ginny puts a lot of videos out there on her on her Insta and, and, and Facebook about all her shooting tips. You know, it, it covers a lot of topics, and I must appreciate Ginny a lot of people are making good use of, of all the inside information which you're putting out, you know. I was um, actually, uh, uh, the last one which I saw is about how a shooter needs to travel with the rifle in an aircraft. So fantastic information out there coming from Ginny Thrasher on her Insta and, and YouTube. You can follow her. Yes. Thank you, Ginny. It was an amazing performance by you in all the matches of Top Gun. What an entertainer you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for bringing up my social media. I'm really uh, having a good time just representing the sport. And I'm a firm believer that there is no insider information. We should all have access to that. And, you know, if it can help more people be better at the sport or if it can help more people come into the sport or me represent my sport and my country better, you know, it's a really great thing. So definitely follow me on every social media platform you can think of at Jenny Thrasher. That's Ginny Thrasher, the Olympic champion who had competed in the bronze medal match against another shooting star of America, the Olympic bound Lucas Kozenski. Now we will speak to Lucas. Lucas, fantastic performance by you shooting, you know, such high tens. You shot about four 10.9s. Margaret, if I'm not wrong, were it four or five? It was four, three four, in the ten, first frame and one in the second. Just fantastic, uh, Lucas. Great form today. Thank you. Beating your teammate, uh, Ginny Thrasher, who's, who's equally strong, but you were the better one, uh, certainly today. Lucas, your initial reaction? Um, well, I mean, it was, it was a good day. Um, I just followed my routine, uh, came in, and things just kind of went a little bit closer to according to plan. Um, and you know, it was good to, to be live shooting against Ginny, but you know, this is a daily battle. We're sitting here <laughs> training all the time and we're constantly competing. And so to broadcast, it was kind of cool. Um, especially in this kind of format, usually just matches or finals or whatever. Um, but something that's like this is, it's really cool. And it was definitely fun to include, include the community on. 
and what are what do you have to say about those fantastic four 10.9s in the match today i mean brilliant i mean i i, I don't see i've seen uh, so many 10.9s in any of those in the other top gun matches till now um i mean i didn't tell them that much difference from the ones around them so i just kind of went with it i was like oh look at that that's cool hey 10.9 what up <laughs> and lucas uh, i observed that it's genie who takes the first shot yeah but what about the last shot um, you were the one who took it first the I winning mean, shot on 10.5 <laughs> did you catch no, up a second i made a mistake i aimed it down the side i'm like oh, okay that's kind of in the ten ring and then i pulled the trigger it's like i was gonna was say it? i didn't shoot that slow no was it I, yeah lucas yeah. was it a strategy <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, was it a strategy uh, catching her by surprise because no. she was coming very, very strongly from it behind? Worked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh no, I just, my eyes were like, oh, Okay, here I go settling. Pow. Hmm. All right. Sorry. Uh, Lucas, my my eyes were glued on Ginny's target because it's her who takes the first point, and suddenly I see a change in the target, and 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 your shot pops up with a ten point five. Uh, was it a? It, I I I think it was a strategy. Was it a strategy to take oh, the no. last shot? No, I'm not kidding. I literally made a mistake, <laughs> <laughs> and it just happened. Unless, I had no idea. You won <laughs> that point. Nonetheless, you won the point and and the bronze. Lucas Kozinski, the Tokyo Olympic bound shooter, taking the bronze target. Yeah, kind of congratulations, Lucas. Thank you. Um, it, it, it was really great. Um, I, I replay, I know, but it was really great to watch to both of you that we can see how you're working, how you handle your rifle, what what you are doing, and how concentrated you are working. Really, I know sometimes there is a longer break, sometimes a shorter break, but you always stay in position, listen what to do. Because normally we know in our normal it's going and going. You have your own rhythm, but now you are you are focused from from outside and really and and, and especially your your third uh, when you have one hundred six point three Lucas. Oh, oh, it was really big, but really big. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Lucas, uh, I, I was um, a little bit curious that you were, uh, how you will perform today, because the last time you were, I think in that last leg, very, very shaky there, and you were, weren't uh, happy with your performance, the last match against Wat Martin, and you picked up basically, and you uh, came up with your performance, uh, the one that we ever, uh, that everybody expects, and uh, yeah, well, well done again, uh, congratulations, great, great performance, nothing to add to that one. Thank you, appreciate it. So can I have uh, can I ask one question? What is your next uh, step? Where will you go at next, or what's your next competition? Uh, we're both going to the small bore Olympic trials for um, in in the middle of May, and so we've got about three weeks until, or actually two weeks until that competition starts. And so the focus now is 50 meter. Okay, okay. And this is in the U.S. too. Yeah, yeah, it'll be yes. in Georgia. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And Lucas, uh, in the end, I would like to ask you about your experience overall competing in in this Top Gun competition. In fact, both to Ginny first and then you. Ginny, your experience in whole as a, as, as as a participant in Top Gun. You know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this entire year, we really haven't had enough competitive opportunities. And I've been kind of hesitant of online matches because I wasn't sure they would kind of feel the same and invoke the same uh, competitive fire in me. And uh, this one was very uh, top notch, honestly. It was, I think, unique, the format. I really enjoyed the fact the the race to 10 matches. I really enjoyed that. Um, really enjoyed shooting against some amazing shooters around the world with the co-ed, you know, men against women too. So. I uh, would definitely have done this again. My only request is a little later in the day because I am not a morning person. <laughs> oh, Ginny, we've noted that down. <laughs> Ginny, Thank you. 
Jeannie Thrasher, the reigning Olympic champion. Thank you, Jeannie. Lucas, what, what's your uh, overall experience participating in Top Gun? Um, it was good. I mean, it's unique. It's There's nothing like it going on right now. Um, I think the format is excellent because it's – I mean, really, I mean, it's always one shot at a time, but it's the point, the race to 10, the, the series of matches. Um, it's no, it's good. It was fun. Um, and we got to include the entire world in on it, um, which I think is which I think is excellent. And Lucas, do you see this as good training for Olympics? Yeah, absolutely. Because it adds a certain number of pressure. And then there's there's people commentating and there's. Um, well, you kind of got to sit there inside the pressure for a while. And, you know, at the Olympics, it's the entire time. And, um, you know, this is this was not a short event. This was something that was, you know, is a serious demand on somebody's training. So this was really good. That's Lucas Kozinski, the bronze medalist of Top Gun, the world number three in men's 10 meter air rifle, the Tokyo Olympic bound athlete. And now I request both of you to also pull in your coach in the center. Say? Do you want yeah. to stand over right here? No. Come on, can we? Can we have a no. we'll, I'll just take everybody off stream and we'll have a picture with the bronze. Come on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the favorite. <laughs> Are we doing something? <laughs> I made my joke again, if so. <laughs> Did we lose him? Hello. No, no, we are here. Hey. We were here. We were just trying to take a nice picture of, of you three. Oh. Uh, maybe maybe now if 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 Ginny could come in the center. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Coach Dan Durbin, many congratulations. He, our oh, shooter, has won a bronze. He was in fantastic form today. First, what do you have to say about Ginny's performance? You know, Ginny's a tough shooter at any time. Uh, she can shoot at 10 6, 10 7, 10 8, even 10 9. So, you never know. Um, she actually you know, fought really strongly today and did a really nice job. Very proud of her today. And I was also asking uh, Lucas about, uh, I suddenly noticed a change in, in the style of shooting of both the shooters. It's Ginny who takes the first shot. And then after maybe a, about a second or two seconds later, Lucas takes the shot. Lucas takes more time to release the shot. But we yeah, saw that um, Actually, if I can give you some insider information <laughs> since Ginny said that was okay. Um, yes, you did notice that there was a difference in styles. There's actually a... a a uh, very different style between the two shooters. Uh, Lucas tends to be uh, with a more classic style where he's got a very good hold and he'll take the time with that hold and squeeze the trigger within that hole. Ginny is a very different approach to this where she will come down in a nice smooth controlled manner right on the target and when that's there, as she said, as soon as that's there, that shot goes off. So a very different way to do this um, Ginny's style is a very difficult one to master and um, kind of a quick little story for you that makes this style even more interesting. Right now here today, we're at the uh, U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Um, a bunch of years ago, Abhinav Bindra, the uh, great champion from India, uh, was on this range training. And this is where he, uh, I think, perfected that style for himself. So something that you don't see very often, but Abhinav was excellent at that and he worked on that right here in fact may have shot on the exact same firing point that Ginny was on today so kind of in interesting in the difference in styles between the two shooters fantastic that's very interesting for the indian audience and for the indian media yeah it was about uh, say 10 12 or maybe more maybe yeah. many years back when abhinav had trained in colorado springs before yep. the 2008 olympics and uh, Coach, what do you have to say about uh, the performance of the bronze medalist, Lukas Kozenski? Yeah, that was exciting to watch today, uh, especially through the middle part of the competition. He was really on fire. Um, that's the Lucas that we see here. 
Um, that's the Lucas that uh, we've seen in, in uh, some recent international competitions. So very exciting to see that today, just deep 10 after deep 10. He was in fantastic form, uh, Coach. He registered uh, about four 10.9s. Yeah, um, Lucas was a, a little coy on how that actually happens. Um, that actually comes from good coaching. <laughs> 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 and and coach i also saw after the first match you were actually you know uh, giving some tips to Ginny. i mean was she a little off form in the first match but in the second she was very strong what's yeah, the difference um, we, we just talked uh, real briefly about uh, some issues with her natural point of aim and then we saw that she made a, a quick correction to that and that I, I think really made a difference and helped her shoot a lot more deep tens in the in the next round. So just just a quick correction. Margaret, what's your question for the coach? Murat, you can go first. Yeah, well, um, I mean, as I said, uh, I, be I bet you are very proud of both of them getting to the uh, semi. Well, no, sorry, the match, the bronze medal yeah, match, absolutely. and. Um, yeah, it's it's good that uh, two shooters of the uh, United States uh, are in the fi in one of the finals at least. I mean, that's one of the answers sh everybody should have. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I, as I said before, I'm, I was surprised that uh, not surprised, but I was curious how how uh, Lucas gonna be um, picking up his performance again after that uh, not so not so good performing second leg against or third leg against uh, Martin. But he picked up, and uh, yep. with an opponent like uh, Genie, I think uh, it was a tough match. And um, I'm sure you prepared them. Uh, did, did you talk to them just before the match to each of them? Um, actually, even even before that, um, with mm -hmm. Lucas, uh, we we talked after that last competition, made some corrections. Uh, he had a very very good practice day yesterday, so I felt very confident that he was going to be on form today. And then we talked uh, with both athletes this morning coming into the competition. And as uh, you all noted, the competition actually started yesterday once they found out that they were going to be competing against each other. Um, yes. So apparently this has been going on on social media for, for a little while now. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes for a much tougher competition when two athletes know each other so, know, know each other so well. Uh, that made for, I think, a more exciting competition here today. Yeah. And we all saw that. And we enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Very good. Thanks again. Yeah, you bet. Coach, one last question, which I'd also put up to Lucas. Do you think that this was very good training for Lucas before the Tokyo Olympics? Oh, this was fantastic training. Um, as, as Ginny mentioned, we just, in this strange year, have not had that many opportunities for, uh, you know, just that competition feeling. Uh, and this, uh, this Top Gun format did a fantastic job of, of providing the athletes with that competition feeling that's could be so um, important for their performance in Tokyo. So what happened here, uh, I think you're gonna see this with, with, I think with all the competitors that uh, were in the Top Gun competition, I think you're gonna see this uh, come through in their performances in Tokyo. Very important and we're very appreciative to be able to uh, participate in this. So thank you very much. That's Dan Durbin, coach of Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher and Tokyo Olympic bound shooter Lucas Kozinski. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. And Thank you. Once again, hearing for our bronze medalist, Lucas Kozinski, the bronze medalist of Top Gun. <laughs> so the bronze medal match is over. That was a fantastic performance by Lucas Kozenski and who took the bronze eventually, but a very good fight by Ginny Thrasher, the Olympic champion, who kept him at his toes. Fantastic, great 
bronze medal match. Now the big one tomorrow. The final between the world military champion Martin Stremfel of Austria versus the World Cup final silver medalist Milenko Sevic of Serbia. Stay tuned to witness this epic final. A little bit about tomorrow's match. Margit Melmer, what do you have to say about tomorrow's match? I think tomorrow we have really two two top top shooters in this final. Really, uh, we know Aust uh, Austrian Martin Streifel had a lot of experience in this online shooting. He liked this online shooting. We remember his qualification round is 636.3. That's 3.1 more than the actually world record from from Peter Shidi. Uh, and also we have Milenko Sevic. He is well prepared. He had a lot of competition in the last weeks, and uh, yes, and he will be the first time on our online league. He will be the first line, uh, the first time at home. We remember the qualification was in Osijek. The uh, water final was in Osijek. Yesterday he was in Austria. And for the final, he will be on his home range. So it could be that he feels more comfortable there, that uh, everything is well known. So it, it will be really, really a great and, and hard fight for both of them. Because Martin is not at home tomorrow. Martin is on his training camp with his, uh, with his teammates. Um, Yes, and he is not in his uh, comfort zone. Let me say like this. So it, it, it will. I'm sure it will be a great match tomorrow. Murat. Yeah, that? I mean uh, Martin performed perfectly. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been in the final. And Milenko as well. Um, uh, Milenko, yeah, well, he was traveling as, um, um, as 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 he needs to do that, but he will be uh, uh, in his home range, whereas Martin will not be most likely. And um, this will be interesting uh, if he will if he's going to pick up his performances, his uh, strength, uh, Martin, and see if he's going to prevail against a very 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 strong shooter like Milenko, he, because Milenko is tough, he's consistent, and. Uh, Martin needs to be that as well to be the winner at the end of this match. And uh, Margit, uh, Martin and Milenko, both of them, you know, they, they had finished one and two in the qualification. So we are having the best shooters who are best in the form in the finals. So it's going to be a great final, Margit. For sure, for sure, it will be a great final. And and Martin will not be at low, uh, alone on the shooting range. Uh, we, uh, Bernhard Pickel will also be with him, and uh, Alexander Schmirl that we have seen in the in the uh, in the uh, in the film in the from from Steyr, he will also be with him. So he will have a lot of uh, friends around him, and it could be stronger. But on the other side. Milenko will be with his coach, with his wife. The family will be with him. So also, also a big community around him. So both of them becoming uh, power from outside. And, and from outside. Absolutely. And if you want to know more, who's going to be the top gun tomorrow? Will it be Martin Stremfel of Austria or Milenko Sebek of Serbia? Both well-known names in the world shooting fraternity. Stay tuned at the same time to Indian Shooting Facebook, YouTube and Twitch. Till then and only till then, goodbye. Bye.